Hey guys, uh, it's good to see you all again. I'm hoping you guys all had a safe and good Memorial Day. It seems lately in my videos I have been trying new things and as I promised before, today I'm going to be reviewing a book, which is something I have never done before. I read so many books and I've always wanted to do reviews. It's something that I've always wanted to try. I just feel with all of the books that I do read that I have a very diverse view on books and it's just something I can offer you guys. Without further ado, here is my first book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing this book, Small Steps by Lewis Sacker. Before I actually talk about the book, I want to talk about the book. If you get the hardcover book with the dust jacket, it does come with this really cool artwork on the front with the outline of the footprints. And what's even cooler, because I am a sucker for book artwork, the actual artwork on the book is pretty fantastic. It's, it's just a pretty book, guys. Like I said, I'm a sucker for artwork. I like to take my dust jackets off sometimes, and I like to have my book just out. Now, as I was saying, this is a sequel to Holes, but it's not a direct sequel to Holes. What I mean by that is that the main character is not Stanley, it's Armpit. Now, you might be asking yourself right now, well, what happened to Stanley and what happened to Zero after Holes? Honestly, you don't even really see any of the other Camp Green Lakers besides X-Ray. It's not ruining anything for you guys. He's a main character in the book. It says it right here when you open the dust jacket. I'm not ruining anything for you. Now, that being said, there is a really cool throwback in the first couple chapters of the book. I'm not going to ruin it for you. It's actually kind of cool. You'll, you'll just have to read it. Now, the plot of this book revolves around Armpit two years after Camp Green Lake, and it really just focuses on what he's doing after he's been, you know, locked up and trying to adjust to the world itself and the world trying to adjust to him. Now, in the book, Armpit lives in a poor part of Texas. He's back living with his parents and he deals with a lot of the mistrust that other kids, parents, and just generally other people in the society have around him because they know that he has been a felon. The book also centers around some goals that Armpit has. They're small little goals to try to achieve a bigger goal in the end. And these are his small steps. See, that's how they, they fit in the title to the book. The book also centers around another character named Kara. Kara is a famous singer in this world, and all of her music is kind of thrown throughout the book. There's little passages that show her lyrics to her song. And Kara is dealing with the loneliness of being on the road and not really having anyone that she can call a true friend. The first part of the book just bounces back and forth between Kara and Armpit, with Armpit trying to work, deal with x-ray shenanigans, and his interactions with a disabled girl named Jenny who lives next door. There's this really cool dynamic that goes on between Jenny and Armpit in the fact that from the outside world, all they see is a big black felon and a small white disabled girl. And their relationship is really unique because they both kind of rely on each other. And I found that really cool. There is a side plot that involves X-Ray and Armpit trying to get tickets to this concert and X-Ray's ideas on how to sell these tickets. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it does culminate in Armpit arriving at the concert with another character in the book. What I can tell you is that at the end of the book, there is a big event that happens. And it's kind of a twist ending if you weren't really paying attention throughout the book. But I'm not going to spoil it. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil it. The things I found really good about this book were first, the initial pacing of the book. It lets you get a feel of all the characters without it just throwing it at you. And in the end, you're left wondering, where did all these characters come from? A lot of books do that, and this book did not. Another thing I really liked was the nostalgic feeling of the book. Because although you don't get to see Stanley, you don't get to see Zero, it's still in the Holes universe, and you still get kind of that Holes feeling in certain aspects. And it was just nice to get taken back to that Holes feeling, if that makes any sense. This book is an extremely easy read, which is really great. I had to have this book sitting on my shelf for about a year. I got it for my birthday last year, and every chance I tried to pick it up, I would just put it down and pick up another book. But when I actually sat down and read it, it only took me about an hour and a half. Granted, I read pretty fast, so the average reader should be able to get this done in less than a day. Two days if you aren't sitting down and just reading. The last thing I'm going to talk about that I found that was good in this book, a majority of these characters feel like real characters. They don't feel fake, which was a big problem in a lot of books. Now let's move on to the stuff I didn't really care for in this book. One of the biggest things I found that kind of struck me about this book, Armpit's characterization goes back and forth. One minute they paint him as 
almost a really dumb character, and then the next they portray him as being pretty smart. So you can't really get a feeling of how he is. And although the author does do a really good job at painting Armpit's feelings and his thoughts, he doesn't do a good job on how others view him. Another thing I didn't care for at all was that some of the character relationships are not fleshed out. And although some of them are relatable, some of them are not relatable at all. You, they can come and go. The last thing I'm going to talk about is that at the end of the book, there is a lot that happens and it really does feel rushed. Granted, it is a page turner, so you wanna keep reading, but there just wasn't enough detail, and at the end of the book, I did kinda of feel like I was missing something. Now, all of that being said, with the good and the bad and just everything in between, on a scale from one to five, with one being the worst and five being the best, I would give this book a solid three, three out of five. The reason I give it a three is that although I did not care for some of the things about this book, I did like the book. It was easy enough to read, there were a lot of things that kept me engaged, and there's nothing I can truly say I hate about the book. Now, I will be completely honest with you guys. My opinion on this book is a little skewed, mostly because it is a holes book, and I really love the book Holes. So although it's not Stanley, it's not Zero, it's Armpit and X-Rite, which I really like those characters in the book Holes. But I'm going to be honest. Like I said, I'm going to try to be honest with you. If you change the characters and it wasn't X-Rite, it wasn't Armpit, it was a completely different set of characters, I probably wouldn't care for the book at all. That's just me relaying my honesty to you guys. But it is a sequel to Holes, and that's what gets this book a 3 out of 5. Without it being in the Holes universe, it would probably rank about a 2. But because of the nostalgia factor, and that's a big thing with me, I give it a 3. So there we go. I give it a 3. Well, that is the end of this review, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. And if you like the things I said about the book, go ahead, pick it up. I'm not going to say that everyone out there is going to enjoy the book, but if you really liked Holes, I guarantee you will like this book. Now, usually I would not do this, but I'm going to ask you guys for a little bit of help here. Please tell me down below, or message me if you don't feel like saying it in front of everyone, just tell me how I did. I want to know what I can work on and what you guys want to see in future reviews. But keep a lookout for the next review I'm going to do. It's a book that I really, really liked. I'm going to say it's one of the best that I've read this past year. It's a book in the young adult genre called Six of Crows. It has magic, violence, thieves, gangs, and I'm really excited to do that review. Like I said, please just down below or in a message, just tell me how I did. I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a good rest of the weekend because I don't think I'm going to be able to make anything for the rest of the week. I got kickball tomorrow and then I'm leaving town this weekend. But I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.